we meet again, and today is October 1st, which means I'm recording the same day this should be uploaded, which means that everyone's gonna have fall decor in the background, which I do not have, which means that everyone's in a onesie, which means that everyone's fears are out. That is like the longest time I've gone without jump cutting. But today is October 1st, and I see all these YouTubers with like leaves in the background having brown, yellow, red, black, and all lives matter decor. I'm um, sorry, did I offend you? I don't care. And I'm just here sitting like, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I don't want fall decor in the background for the sake of a video. I don't want my room to be brown and yellow and red. All I have to do is just wear this onesie and I'm fine. So, greatest fears. Obviously, I'm making this video because it's October. So if you want any more fall themed videos, leave them down below because I have no more ideas. Anyways, let's get started. <laughs> do you remember monsters inside me on Animal Planet? Yeah, neither do I. Oh, all right, it's way too hot in here. Basically, it was a show that talked about all these diseases inside of your body and how you would die. And since I was a little child, I was so gullible, I didn't want to go outside. I didn't want to go into a lake because I'd be like, nope, I'm going to die in there. Moving on to other things that make you want to die, spiders. F that. I'm not scared of snakes. I'm not scared of cockroaches. I'm not scared of any other crawling insect but spiders. And yes, I know they're considered arachnids, all right? I don't need no science people up in here. My mom was always the person who killed spiders in the house because my sister and I, we'd run into our room scared. But I mean, look at this thing. Does that not scare the heck out of you? I see eight-year-olds on YouTube cuddling a spider saying it's cute. And I look at you like you're crazy. If the spiders are outside of my house, that's cool. I don't get scared by that. But once you trespass in my home, I will bring the wrath of... Well, I'm not going to bring the wrath because I can't kill them. My mom will bring the wrath of her hand and squash you. Fear of dying. Not like in general situations where it's like, oh, I'm gonna grow old, I don't wanna die, God, save me. But very unlikely situations that might not ever happen to you ever in your life. I'm talking diseases. The whole continent Australia because every deadly animal is on there for some reason. Airplanes because movies like to see those things crash into buildings. Oh god, okay, I didn't mean it that way. Natural disasters, like, like San Andreas in 2012, how everyone thought that the world would end because a big tsunami would just pfft. Or the series Final Destination, because apparently if you cheat death, death comes after you again and kills you one by one by one. And the only way to survive is to kill someone else to take your place. Fear of ghosts, or the spiritual world for you hipsters. If you watch Supernatural, if you watch American Horror Story, if you watch any horror movie, you will know what I'm talking about. The fact that I'm living next to a cemetery does not help. And before anyone dismisses, oh, ghosts aren't real, shut up. I can believe what I want. I've seen Annabelle, The Conjuring, The Conjuring 2, so don't talk about it. Trypophobia, which is the fear of holes. Now, if you're not sure if you have trypophobia, or if you are sure you have trypophobia, keep on watching or skip five seconds, because I'm about to show a picture in three, two, one, look at me, I'm like a DIY person. Boom. If that triggers you in some way, which obviously I'm gonna get triggered by that trying to find the photo for you guys, then you have trypophobia. Because apparently your mind thinks that when holes are sorted in certain ways, your mind just bleh. Some people are scared of bath bombs because they make bubbles. Because apparently bubbles trigger your mind now. And if you're scared of bubbles, I'm sorry, but I like bubble baths. So we're not gonna be friends. And the reason why I found out I had trypophobia was because one day on the bus, my best friend decided to show me a picture of it, and I almost... I'm not gonna say the word because I know that people get triggered by it. Why are the words triggered and shook the two words of the year right now? This one is related to ghosts as well, and it's fear of darkness. As in, night? As in, no lights in your house? If I'm watching a horror movie in my bed, right now. And there is no one in the house but me, and all the lights are off, and I want to go eat something downstairs, I can't go. Because I'm scared that something or someone's gonna come from behind me and murder me. Every time there were no lights in the house, I would run for my life to get into my room. I can't explain this, but I'm sure people have it, but fear of injuries in the near future. Have you ever just thought of you hurting yourself or dying while you're doing an activity? Like right now I can be like, oh, if I'm filming this, a bus is gonna come through my house. Or if I'm walking with my friends, oh, I'm gonna trip over the sidewalk and break my face. These thoughts run through my mind way too much and I always block them out and I know they don't happen, but for some reason I get scared of it. I always tell myself not to jinx it, but they never happened in the first place. My mind is special, okay? And the last one, fear of clowns. 
Two weeks ago, there had been many clown sightings on the East Coast, going from Georgia all the way to New York. And apparently these are grown men who dress up as clowns near houses and stores and wait. And then people call 911 because they're scared they're gonna die. And now it's starting to be an uprising where people are saying they've been attacked by clowns at night. Schools are closing down and that's Halloween for you. I don't know if this is gonna subside or it's just gonna keep on going across the United States, but I do not want clowns to be a trend this year. So if you are one of those people who dress up as a clown, Stop it. So those are all my fears, and now everyone on the internet knows how to scare me. If you enjoyed, give this video a like, leave a comment down below about your greatest fear, and better yet, subscribe. I love you guys so much, thank you for 500 subscribers, and everything is less than 3. And yes, I'm gonna take the onesie off now, because I just wore it for the sake of a video.